Some of the lands run right through to the shore of McGillivray Lake, and some run to Trout Lake. But uh, everybody called this, was in the area, called this the Trout Lake Settlement. They had their own school, they had their own post office, they had uh, they didn't have a church, but they used to say mass in the school right. once a month. Our recollection, uh, my grandmother, Mary Jane Kelm, she was raised at the uh, Sheenboro in the village. Yeah. Her dad owned the hotel and the store there. And she uh, played the organ and the piano, and she used to go in and, uh, on Sunday and play the organ in the school where they had mass in okay. the school. The, there was never a church in there. No. In the later years then, when that closed up, uh, the school closed, all the Trout Lake people came out to Sheenboro, to church. By the 1920s, the Trout Lake settlement was virtually abandoned. Many of the families left the area to find work on the railways in northern Ontario in various locations south of the border, while others managed to relocate their farms to more fertile lands near Chichester and Sheenboro. Before long, the remaining buildings would also be torn down and relocated elsewhere. <laughs>